Hello, this is MML Gaming HD. I'm MML Oraculum. I'm MML Ninja Monkey. And this is the final game, White Ra versus the Muslim. Now we're both casting now because we're so hyped about this last game. It's so far one all in the best of three, and oh, the games have been great. Yeah, they sure have. I've been seeing that Warhound play. The Warhound not being in the game anymore. As he's saying, Warhound Rush fail. But it's still nice to see those units and how they used to play out. Yeah, those Warhounds are very good against those mechanical units. In the last video, I got it wrong. But they've got an ability that does uh, so much damage. What's the ability's name? I'm not sure of the ability's <laughs> name. But I know the ability is very strong. Because I joined the beta after the Warhound was taken out of the game. But this ability is very strong against mechanical units, and that's why those stalkers were dying so fast. Yeah, that is definitely correct, Oraculum. And so far, we're just seeing the uh, old standard stuff from uh, w WOL. And what I think we're going to see is uh, the Muslim trying something other than the Warhound, because he's used them two games in a row now, Oraculum. <coughs> Yeah, those Warhounds not really working out. White Ra knows his way around them. He did go Void Rays last game, which, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, really works against Warhound because they can't shoot up. It really works. And uh, to Muslim, just saying they're such a funny unit because they're quite overpowered. I mean, um, I heard someone say they take they took the Warhound out of the game, but because they changed other stuff to do with the Warhound in the same patch, they think they're going to bring it back, but completely reformed. That sounds very interesting. If the Warhound comes back, it'll be quite interesting to use, as I never got the chance to use it myself. Yeah, but now it's the hype about <coughs> spider mines, isn't it? Yeah, this, well, the Widow Mines oh, have been undergoing a lot of changes. I call them uh, spider mines because of the Widow Spider, but now they, uh, they're they really effective, actually. I saw a TVZ where he pretty much just built Widow Mines and uh, Marines and left a few siege tanks, tanks back at uh, his base, but... Uh, it, it was really effective actually. Yeah, those Widow Mines have been seeing a lot of changes. They're trying to make them balanced because there's been a lot of all-ins recently with Widow Mines and they really don't want to be seeing that. No, and uh, so, uh, oh, finally we're going to see a bit of a macro game uh, attempt at least from the Muslim side. And he's going to go for that one Rex, uh expand and uh, he's going to play off that t this game. Yep, he is, and the Muslim is really trying to go for that kind of economic build. He really wants to stay ahead of White Ra this time. Yeah, uh, White Ra's now just uh, getting up his cyber day, it's cool. And a stalker out now, uh, and warp gate tech, so he's not opting for the mothership core just yet. And as you were saying in the game before, the scouting has been a lot later in these games. Usually scouting not so early, not after the first pylon as you would normally. Yeah, but after the second one, which... Uh, this could uh, go badly for uh, White Rock. Has he sent the scout out already? Has he seen this? I don't think he has, and he might even go to the wrong base first, because this is a four-player match uh, map, and he's not going to see that command centre until maybe it's complete and he's getting the benefits from it. Yeah, his mothership core is now building. He doesn't have any idea about that command center, so he has gone for the safest build he possibly can. Three gateways. Is he going to go for the Nexus shortly? I doubt it. He might be going for a robo, looking at the gas. Yeah, he's probably going to go for a robo. Or he'll... Uh, there's the mothership core. Or he will try a heavy sentry heavy push on the terror player after seeing the expansion. And he is going for those collapsible rocks, showing he does want to kind of turtle a bit. And he's going for that Nexus, so he's going really safe. Three gate, then Nexus. He's going to be so far behind on his economy compared to the Muslim. He's only got three Marines, one expansion. So yeah, you can see the difference there already. It's, it's quite substantial. It's over half the minerals uh, that the Muslim spent before he even expanded. And um, this just shows how far behind White Ra is going to be. Yeah, both players kind of feeling it's a bit risky expanding as they have both collapsed their rocks. And the Muslim having the weakest defence, but he will be very shortly burgeoning those food levels with lots of units. And by the looks of things, Warhounds again with the Tech Lab. And is that another Tech Lab going down? I think yes it is. So two Tech Labs of Warhounds against those Gateway units. I don't know how White Ra's going to take that. He's going to feel quite hurt. 
No, the only thing in White Whale's favour is having those production units out earlier, so he should have the units to deal with any sort of push, and he's gone for a really early upgrade, so he's going to be able to deal with Warhounds quite nicely. Yeah, White Whale does like to get uh, an expansion up, then start with the upgrades, and he's getting some defensive stalkers there, thinking that nothing's happened, so maybe a drop's incoming, and I don't know if... The Muslim does have a star uh, port up yet, but um, I'm sure he's going to try some sort of... Yeah, he has got a star port. He's getting Vikings, though, in anticipation of the Void Rays encounter to his Warhounds. Now, one strategy that I'm quite appealed to, and it does look like he could go that, is an Archon build, because Archons would not be affected by the Warhounds' ability. Um, no, and there it is. Either he's going to get Templars with Storm, or, just as Oraculum was saying, actually, the Archon build. And he's probably going to get a lot of Zealots in that case, and uh, Charge, because you need Charge on Zealots, otherwise they become almost useless against these units that can kite them around. Yep, and if the Muslim uses these Vikings well, which it looks like he might be able to, he's put them in position where he thinks the Mothership Corps might be sitting and he's going to be able to just scout about. But these Stalkers are in the right place, the cannon's being put down at the right time, what's going to happen? Brilliant gamer sense here from White Rob, putting these Stalkers just where those Vikings are, and he, that got all too close, and these Vikings now trying to approach from another side, and the Muslim and White Rob right on the micro there, uh, not letting anything slip, and that mother, mother core is, mother ship core, sorry, is just nowhere near these Vikings, the Muslim just <coughs> completely missing the back, uh, boat there. And there's a factory being put down here, and Psionic Storm is being searched, so we might well see High Templars and then Archons later on. Definitely not Archons right now, he wants to use those Storms. Yeah, he wants to get energy as well with those High Templars to come out, because they took out that upgrade all the way back in WOL, and I never really got to use that much, but uh, it was really useful that the High Templars came out with enough energy for Storm. Yep, they used to have that Coridian amulet that used to bring them out straight away, but that bit that got taken out quite a long time ago, and we're not going to be seeing it putting back in here. But these warhounds are marching across the map, a very mech-like unit, and he's going to be able to see the high ground. He's using those Vikings there to take down that pylon, and a warhound just getting a sight before those Vikings went away with that other pylon. But this Cybernetics core is going to go down. That's no more stalkers, no more anti-air, uh, just for a little bit until he creates those Archons or get another Cybernetics Core back and now White Ra is food blocked and this army doing a lot of damage just from that low ground. White Ra really needs to choose a better place to put those buildings next time. Yeah and there's not many units here. He's going to have to bring his Stalkers from the back of the base. They are marching over now. There are quite a few. He hasn't got any High Templars out yet and the rocks are going to be di falling shortly. Oh, White Ra is so far behind on those uh, units, He's, and those Storms going down very nicely, taking out a Marine and putting a Marine on very low health, and there's not many, there's, I don't think there is any, in fact, many Vax around, and the Storm going down on those Warhounds, and those Warhounds aren't getting microed away, oh, and they're taking a lot of damage there, so much damage from that Storm. Yeah, these units just hang around at the front of base, picking off buildings that they can with the, uh, the air support, and there's units streaming down now, it looks like Miss Micro, he wants to bring them back. Yeah, and he's got oh two very nice force fields there going down, and the Warhounds just backing off, and the army now running over, but another brilliant storm going down, and Marines again taking a lot of damage, and that's a lot of damage to that AOE, and if he put a uh, storm down right there, he'd be doing so much damage right now. He might need to warp these into Archons, Archons soon, though. Oh, quite a lot of Zealots being warped in. He knows he needs something to take out these, and another storm going down right on top of those two Warhounds. Very low health Marines here. What is going to play out next? I don't know. This uh, battle could go either way right now. If uh, he just get, has enough time to build some uh, units, White Rail can defend this, and he's he's backing them off brilliantly. But these fire fire bats, I think they're called. I don't think they're called that anymore. But the Hellions have been warped into them, and they're very good against Zealots because they come in large clumps. And the uh, a lot of the Zealots just died there into a. Uh, Flush of damage and a oh. very nice, very nice size storm going down. A lot of units going down. This could end up in White Ra's favour, and if he can get another warp in, he might be able to defend this next push. <clears throat> Here comes the next warp in. There are so many units outside his base. He's going to need to deal with this soon. No more storms available. 
No, and he's only got that AoE damage from that Archon splash damage, but there's a, too many units here now for the Muslim. The Muslim being able to real build those Warhounds because that early economical uh, advantage he had, and uh, it's just going to be too much for uh, White Ra. White Ra warping those Zealots in a very pretty pattern, but it's not going to be enough to win the game. Yeah, there are way too many units in his base. There's not much hope now. Oh, and he does a GG. There's the GG, and the Muslim taking away the best of three, and I do like the Muslim actually. He is one of my favourite StarCraft players because he played Warcraft 3 and I was really into Warcraft 3 and obviously the Muslim too so uh, how'd you find the game? Well the folly of White Ra was putting his buildings on the side of the cliff where the Warhounds could actually attack them and that really played against White Ra and in the favour of the Muslim. And there is another reason why I really like the Muslim is because his name's Ben just like me. That's a lovely fact isn't it? Great. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And the watching. Zealots are attacking. Oh my god, the, the Stalkers are backing. The Stalkers the are warping. The Stalkers, the stalkers oh my are stalking. God, the stalkers. We're getting a warping. But no, the Muslim, he's beating my 